Well, Candace, the mother in this case dies. The daughter survives. Brunswick Sheriff deputies say the accused killer is the mo uh, mother's boyfriend, adding he violently wedged a kitchen knife deep into the woman's neck. Here at the medical examiner's office, they found out the force was so hard the blade broke away from the knife's handle. Forensic gloves on the ground, blood splatter on the back porch. Man, that's crazy, man. That's too close to home. Stains of violence that will haunt Donna Collins' family for a lifetime. Never thought any of this, man. Never. Brunswick deputies were called to this trailer just feet from the North Carolina state line for a stabbing early Monday morning. It was a gruesome scene. A, a lot of blood based on the injury uh, of the victim. Um, so first thing first is certainly life and priority. Um, preserve the scene is important, but... First thing was life. Sheriff Brian Roberts says Donna Collins and her boyfriend Travis Jewett were involved in several arguments the night before. The sheriff says Donna's daughter Tracy went to break them up in the laundry room and was cut with the handle of a kitchen knife. They believe the blade was already wedged in Donna's neck. The daughter was here. Um, she tried to intervene during um, some of it and the daughter received uh, injuries, not life-threatening, and but the mother ultimately um, had a fatal injury. Crime Insider sources confirmed the two met on PlentyOfFish.com, an online dating site. Jewett was fresh out of prison. Neighbor Mike Pullen says he knew about Jewett's prior record. He, he was locked up. He did a couple years for uh, strangulation or somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we didn't really talk about it because, you know, that's, that's people's personal things. A life that now involves the tragic murder of his girlfriend. Sheriff deputies say they have only known each other for just over a month. When we got the initial charges, it was a malicious wounding, but uh, we will certainly be up in those charges to murder. I spoke to Tracy Collins, Bill and Candace on the phone in Caroline County this afternoon. She is on the mend from her injuries. Brunswick County hasn't had a murder since 2011. That was due to an argument over kidney beans. Working for you outside the medical examiner's office in downtown Richmond tonight, John Burkett, CBS 6 News. Thank you, John.